to our Wake Up Wednesday. Uh, my name is Nicole and... I'm Lisa. Limitless and, You. <laughs> yes, if you're going to follow her, it's Limitless You. You won't find her under Lisa. Um, anyhow, we do these Wake Up Wednesdays as a way to stay awake in our waking dream and to bring our unconscious patterns and beliefs and stories into the conscious mind so we can live a fully awakened life filled with joy and magic and all the good things. That's right, because it's as we become conscious that we actually can create a reality. When that unconscious gear is in place, oh boy, it can wreak some havoc sometimes. <laughs> well, then there's no control over your life. You're just like in the passenger seat, like what the hell is happening? So we hope to get you into your driver's seat through these Wake Up Wednesdays. And today we're going to be talking about your inner seasons. And so... My intention in talking about this and my intention in doing this work and putting it out there um, is to bring awareness to the cycle that lives in a woman and to hopefully um, invoke a hunger for them to have a desire to embody this cycle and to really embody their authentic self through the movements of their cycle. Hi, Rebecca. Um, so yeah, I hope that you'll enjoy where we're going to go today. And I am so passionate about this topic. Um, when Nicole really brought the ideas and the concepts to me, oh my gosh, you'll hear more about it as we dive in today. But it's just so really important that as women, whether they're teenagers or women in their later part of life, um, that we really have a deeper understanding of how this cycle moves within us. And how when we bring consciousness to it, consciousness forward, we can actually move with the cycle mm -hmm. rather than some other things. Maybe okay. that's where we should start. What yeah, are the things that we do? It's definitely it a moving with the cycle rather than fighting or being against the cycle that is naturally occurring inside of you. So we are obviously female beings. If you're in a female body, you're going through a cycle or you have at one point, whatever it may be. Um, and so we go through the seasons just like the earth does, and the earth is the embodiment of the feminine. And as we know, the earth goes through four seasons in most places. And so we have the seasons of winter, we have the season of autumn, spring, and summer. And so if we take that, we can see how our cycle is related to those seasons and the synchronicities that happen. So we'll get right into it. So we have, well, first of all, I want to say that in our womb space, our womb moves through these cycles, right? And so our womb is figuratively and literally moving through a cycle of life and death. Every single month, we have the opportunity to shed through our menstruation and then to be reborn through pre-ovulation to fully create and express ourselves through ovulation. And then we have the opportunity to descend back into a preparation of letting go in our autumn season. So it's this beautiful cyclical nature of life and death through the seasons that we move through. Now, how do we normally handle it? So, you know, it's like if you live, I mean, we live in California, so winter, sometimes we don't even really know it's winter, right? But if you're in a place where it snows and, and things like that, it's not like a big surprise, right? You know that winter's coming, you know how to prepare for winter. And, you know, this program that Nicole um, has created called The Inner Seasons mm -hmm. is really amazing because what it did for me is it helped me understand what winter entails. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because as we're talking about this, bring forward your own consciousness. How do you typically show up when winter comes? And of course, right now, you're not quite sure what winter looks like. So Nicole, <laughs> do you want to just give them a quick understanding yeah. of winter? So if you think of winter in, the, in, in our natural world that's happening around us, it's a, it's a darker period. There's a lot of die-off, like the, those things dying in the earth have already died. So, And it's a very inward sort of feeling, right? We kind of want to move inward. We want to stay in more. We want to be in our houses, kind of nestled up. And so winter is a representation of the first season that we move through in our cycle, which is the season of menstruation. And it is the season that our bodies are 
desiring and asking for a bit of rest. Now, this might not mean you take an entire week off or you take a whole day off. It could be five minutes, 10 minutes, could be a whole day, it could evening, whatever it is. Our body is literally shedding a lining of our uterus. So we are being asked to slow down even for a moment and pause and to go within. But instead we've been taught, take two pills, ignore what's happening in your body and get on with your day. So just side note, if you're in the dead of winter, you're not going to run outside in your underwear when it's snowing and right. go for a jog. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> exactly, so right. it, it's a time of pausing, of reflection, of contemplation. It's also known, so also our, our psyche moves through certain archetypal energies within a month's period. And in this season, we embody the archetype of the wise woman. So there's a lot of deep wisdom in this part of the cycle. And in her program, she has yes. a lot of deep, like what I loved about it was all the details that like um, she goes into in a very actually um, concise amount of time. Like it's totally doable. Like you can slide it in along with your process and then really embody the content beyond a 20 minute live on Instagram. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot more details in the program. So we're just gonna be touching on a little bit here. So. That's the winter phase. Um, it's the embodiment of the wise woman. It's a time for reflection of inward moving, of really honoring what your body is releasing. It's a time to physically shed, but also shed mentally, emotionally, and spiritually whatever happened over the past month that's no longer serving you or that you don't wanna bring into the next cycle of rebirth that is about to happen in the next phase. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about the winter phase. I wanna say one more thing about it. Okay. It, because I don't know if any of you relate to me, but I'm a doer. <laughs> I'm a beer too, but I'm a doer. Like I've got big lists and lots to do and I'm very like type A, you know? And I feel like I'm around a lot of people that hold, in fact, in today's age with everything happening as fast as it does, it really requires us in some ways to kind of be that way. Mm -hmm. And what I really appreciate about um, understanding that connection more, like when I brought consciousness to the yeah. winter as I'm going through it, I've been allowing myself to slow down. And in the slowing down, I can actually, like you were saying, the wise one, right? We're slowing down. Yeah. I can actually receive uh -huh. the, um, I can, I can take the time to ask questions and really exactly. receive answers yeah. about what I need, mm. where I'm at in my life what I might need to move forward right. rather than continuing to just plow through everything so fast. Exactly. So, so much wisdom held in this portion of the cycle in the winter season. Um, it also, like, our hormones are obviously changing throughout a month's period, so your estrogen is lower at this point, your progesterone is higher, which means you're going to have less energy naturally and still we want to plow through it, even though every signal in our body, our hormones are the pain that we go through, the fatigue that we have, the everything that we're going through, we're just ignoring it all and plowing through it. So that's the first season. Side note, for all of you men that are tuning in, hopefully you've made it this far, um, we also hope that through this um, revealing of what we go through as women, that it'll empower you in your relationships with mm -hmm. women, that as women, that if a man is listening to this, that he will have more wisdom mm -hmm. on how to interact and connect and support or hide. <laughs> like, or when is the time to hide and duck for cover? Winter. More autumn. So, okay. okay. So now we're moving <laughs> into, so now we've just completed winter. We're feeling a little bit better. And so now we move into the season of spring. So if you think about winter outside, right, when everything has, um, melted or the air is a little warmer and we start to see little buds of things growing back to coming back to life this is what we feel naturally as we're finishing our menstruation and we're moving into the season of spring we feel this new life this new birth of energy um, and it's a very creative very playful very curious energy that's in this season and we, we honestly have shed a whole layer, so now there's a brand new fresh layer um, in our uterus, and that energy of, of the physical energy within our bodies is gonna be expressed in all other areas of our life. So as far as our psyche, what it moves through 
is the archetype of the maiden. And so if you think of a young, innocent child, she's very curious, very playful, very creative, ideas are flowing in, everything around her is, um, is innocent. And it's a really beautiful phase to start to start creating and putting yourself out there. It's also a really good season to be nurturing. And we're taught as women, we should be nurturing all the time. We should always be giving. We should never feel tired. We should never feel like we're not able to give. When really in our autumn and winter phases, we should be setting a thicker boundary with the outside world and creating more space for nurturing us so that in these other phases, such as spring that we're talking about now and summer, we can be more open and loving to giving to those around us. And we have more energy to do so because we've taken time to nurture ourselves. Again, side note for the men out there, this is a good time to really ask for the things that you want. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get come them. <laughs> yes, you don't want to come in at winter or autumn as she's going to get into. Um, so again, and then for for ourselves too, right? When there's a project or something that um, we've got around the corner, and one of the things that I love also about sorry, I keep talking about her course, but the, we don't have enough time to get into it today is um, how she ties it to the cycles of the moon also. Mm -hmm. So as a woman who might be in your spring, if it's in alignment with some of the cycles of the moon, it's like explosive creative energy. Like you wanna know when that's coming in. Yeah. Cause you wanna harness that. Exactly, you wanna harness that energy. And so this is what it means to live in alignment with your cycle and to embody the different phases that you're going through. This is what it means to live that embodiment of your authentic self. We can't be one way an entire month's period and we force that on ourselves because we don't wanna be judged by society, by men, by other women, whoever it is that we're afraid of being judged by. So when we actually know this information, we can allow ourselves to go through the cycle with grace, with understanding, and with so much knowledge and wisdom. So let's talk about the one. Which one? The next one. The su well, summer is next. Oh, sorry. But there's two. So, sorry. So, now, so the spring <laughs> is going to be your pre-ovulation. Okay? Yeah, right. Now after pre-ovulation comes ovulation. So we're getting into the season of summer. Now, if you think of the season of summer in the outside world, what Mother Nature is going through, summer is hot, summer is steamy, summer is very extroverted, very out there. You want to go out, you want to mingle, you want to uh, network, you want to anything that you've kind of created in the spring phase is ready to be birthed and you're ready to put it out there because you have so much confidence and magnetism and um, your estrogen is higher. So naturally your body and your everything around you feels and looks um, at its peak, like your skin is clearer, your eyes are, per are brighter, everything is just peaking. ready for, it's peaking. I mean, peaking. On, obviously you're ready for procreation, so your body's giving out those signals, but you can use that energy to um, start to plant seeds and really harness what you want to harness in your life. So that's going to be summer ovulation phase. Anything you want to throw in there? Um, I love the summer, literally within me. And it's outside fun. of me, it's the, it's like the ultimate peak, yeah. you know, it's just my energy's peaking. I feel so vital. I love like the warmth of the sun and, um, yeah, I feel like in my own personal cycle, it's a time when I'm high vibing. Yeah. You know? I can connect. Yeah. It. And there's, there's a need for each and every one of these phases. We can't always be in summer phase. That's not realistic. That's not natural. That's not how life is meant to be. We're meant to go into the depths of all of these different energies. In fact, you would never know how bad autumn sucks unless you had a summer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so the archetypal energy that our <laughs> psyche moves through in this phase is um, the mother and or the lover. So it's the time where we are extra nurturing. Our, our barriers between the outside world are very thin. Our boundaries are very thin. We're really wanting to give. We're wanting to put ourselves out there for others. It's a really good time um, to just give as much as you want. You actually have a desire to do that. Reminds me of that song. Which one? Summer loving. Yeah. Having some fun. Oh my fun. God, Grease. It's a good movie. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's going to be your next phase. So winter, spring, summer. So these are the three inner seasons that we've gone through so far. Actually, can I just ask you really quick mm -hmm. a question? So for a man, mm -hmm. 
in a relationship with a woman mm-hmm. and she's in her summer phase uh-huh. how can he harness that energy gosh well all he really has to do is give her some touches <laughs> tell her she's beautiful <laughs> give her some kisses and, and he's in like flynn well yeah as long as he's respecting the other seasons and this is also a great this is great language to use in your relationships because a lot of the times we want to say i'm pmsing i feel crazy or um i'm Maybe your partner's like, oh, you're being bratty or bitchy. Hopefully they're not using that word, but um, because you're about to have your period. And it's like, it's just so shut down, right? Because there's no space for all of these seasons and energies to be expressed. But when you turn it into a language like this, it really sets the tone for a different conversation with your partner and even your friends and even everyone else in your life. Yeah. So when you say to your partner, I'm in my autumn phase, it for some reason, it just gives them more space of understanding once you've explained to them what your autumn phase is. The tsunami is coming. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. It's true. Like, you know that I'm going to be a little bit more emotional, more tired, more fatigued, more sensitive. And so they can have more space and respect for you in that phase because it's no longer deemed as the crazy phase or the bitchy phase or you're just PMSing and it just gets wiped off. It's I'm going to be expressing all that needs to be expressed in this phase of my entire cycle within a month's period. And it just is a game changer in relationships, I swear. So now we get into um, this is the, the autumn phase. This so is the this is usually the longest. This is pre-ovulate. Oh, first, I want to say that, oh no, I already mentioned that. So now we're getting into the autumn phase. So this is pre-menstruation. This is the descent into the wise moment. But before we get there, it's the descent into the darkness. It's the descent into, yeah, the darkness so that we can, again, be reborn into the light when it's back to spring. It's the descent so that something can die off. But in this phase, we're going to be more emotional, more sensitive. Um, It's the archetypal energy of the wild woman. So in this phase, there are usually our filters are um, not there and we are very actually very very intuitive in this phase and again we have shut this off because it's been deemed as the crazy phase or ignore this phase or oh I'm just super emotional right now but there's so much wisdom in this phase as well because because we're so sensitive in this phase we can really tune into what needs to change and shift in our lives like what shadow parts of ourself can we work on in this phase because our shadows really tend to come up and out in this phase so it's a really beautiful opportunity to develop such an awareness of yourself because you're being asked to be you're being asked to draw inward you no longer have the capacity to share yourself so big and greatly with the outside world and with even with the people that you love so it's a beautiful opportunity to do some inner work, to do some journaling, some contemplation. Again, also a time for rest. I usually notice like right before I'm about to menstruate, um, about two to three days before, I have the least amount of energy and I usually clear my schedule as much as I can. Obviously, we still have to work, we still have to show up, but I honor that part that my body is so fatigued right before I'm about to shed and it's also been a game changer for me because then I can show up for other people and my clients and people that I love even better in the other phases because I have not burnt myself out trying to give so much when my body is saying no. The image that was kind of coming to my mind, Nicole, is like when a tree, when the leaves are starting to like turn, mm-hmm. how that, how they're, it's like a whole process. Yes, it's exactly what's happening. And if we slow down in this process, we can really see wet leaves. Mm-hmm. are starting to turn to what leaves are gonna you know kind of fall away or mm-hmm. is it time to let fall away mm-hmm. as we move in from the autumn back into winter so it is that winter. preparation it's like like Lisa was saying it's seeing the leaves seeing that really drastic change from summer to fall in the outside world which is happening in the inside world too when we go through that change it's pretty big it's drastic and we start to see, okay, well, what here is serving me? What is it? What am I ready to let go of, right? What leave am I ready to let fall? And then you set that intention to let that go when you go into your winter phase. So it, it's, as feminine beings, we live such a sacred 
life just by connecting through our cycle and we can use our cycle to navigate in all things that we do it's our inner compass of wisdom and it's a beautiful beautiful way to practice self-embodiment i was just thinking too yeah tell us um i was just in florida right mm. and there was all these tornadoes or not tornadoes but hurricanes but i was just thinking how ironic it is that in the caribbean at least and in that part of the world it is literally in the fall mm. when the, the hurricanes, it's hurricane mm. season in the fall. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> Mother Nature knows. She's the wisest one around. But, but we have that wisdom in us. Like We have the wisdom of the Great Mother that lives inside of us. And so we can really tap into that when we deeply understand this. And so if you're wanting to learn more and really dive into this work, and really embody who you are as a woman, then I do offer a program called The Wisdom of Your Foreigner Seasons. And it's online, it's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours worth of content. You can go at it at your own pace. So it's super easy to um, relate to, easy to digest. Um, I've integrated science, what happens to you physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So you get a little bit of everything that's happening. Um, it's not all woo woo and out there. It's also very grounded in solid information and solid science to back it up. And it's really affordable. It's the four inner seasons for only $44 because I wanted it to be accessible for all women out there because I believe that when we live in alignment with our womb, we can truly create magic and power in our lives. How has it helped you in learning the seasons of your cycle and really using them as your inner compass. I think the best way to, to, to say it is really it's heightened my self-respect mm. because I'm understanding what's actually happening in my body mm -hmm. in a different way and it's yeah. giving me a different lens to interact with it. And you know me, I'm big on ritual, so mm -hmm. I love to use it as another excuse to have a ritual yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of you know that natural cycle of death and rebirth and... Um, but and I also want to say that just as um, a, a therapist who is out there that work with a lot of women and so forth and so on, um, I don't. It's missing. It is missing. Women are not connected to their cycle, and the and they're they're suffering. I, I've had several clients that, you know, it literally is a hurricane for them every month, and it's like. Not only do they have to batten down the hatches, but everybody around them within 20 miles, mm -hmm. we need to batten down the hatches. And it's really, um, it's really like magical mm -hmm. what's happening, yet because it's so uncomfortable and it can feel so destructive, the relationship to it. If there's a complete disconnection of the yeah. relationship, we haven't really been taught how to connect to self and how to use your feminine cycle as a way to show up in your life. And so because yeah. of that disconnection, it's going to be more painful. It's going to feel more chaotic. It's going to feel more disconnected. And everyone around you is going to feel that wrath of... Yeah. Go ahead. So I'm just <laughs> feeling, how I'm feeling right now, is that every parent on this planet who has a teenage Hi, daughter... Oh, needs to get this for their child, for their young female. Mm -hmm. um, what a gift to have that knowledge and that understanding at a younger age and to be empowered mm -hmm. as a woman. Mm -hmm. um, and what a gift to give your child, right? Because it's not something that maybe they would even, he like, I don't know, I don't have kids, but I'd imagine if I had a teenage daughter, she's not going to want to hear about this stuff from me. Probably not. No. Yet. Well, no, actually, <laughs> actually, I, I do feel like it's very important for the mother to be sharing this information. It should be passed down the line, this generation. It's so sacred in that way. I wish that I had this information passed down to me from my generation. Unfortunately, they weren't aware of it. So it's okay. We, we are gaining awareness now. It's coming back into our society. This once was very sacred to all of the tribes, all the indigenous cultures, they understood a woman's cycle to be very powerful. Even the men, they knew it and they would build huts when it was time for women to 
go through menstruation and they would send them over there because Mish. during menstruation it was known that they would get visuals and information and downloads for the tribes and so I this is getting a little bit maybe over the head but um, this isn't new work this is very ancient very old wisdom that we're just integrating back in our modern day world and so it can be done in fact it needs to be done because we live such a linear masculine driven world it's time to embody more of these feminine aspects because ultimately it's authentically who we are so back to the teenagers if you have one and they're in their autumn and they're like Love a tsunami them. or a tornado at home. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like, wow, wouldn't it be nice to have that language mm -hmm. for your teenage daughter to be able to say, I'm yeah. in my autumn or winter is coming or whatever it is. Winter is coming. Um, with that said, Nicole. What time is it? It's time. Oh, <laughs> we probably went over this time. So yes, as I was mentioning, if you want to learn more, um, you want to really dive into this, you can um, click on my link and in my bio that takes you to my website and you'll just go to the inner seasons and all of the information is there. If you can't do the one payment, then you can do it in two payments of just $22. So it's very affordable and I highly recommend doing it and passing it along to all your other friends and your sisters and the whole world. The whole world. <laughs> Soon she will have it in different languages. Yeah, I would <laughs> come in. Okay, um, but listen, one more thing before we portal out. Nicole and I are very excited. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. To share with you that we're going to be starting a new live. All the details are coming. We don't have all the details yet, right? We don't have them yet. No, the first we know it's going to be the first Saturday of every month. Okay, so I guess we, we did we have, have that detail. That and it's going to be. We're just gonna sit with some coffee and talk controversial coffee. So we're gonna just bring things that can be very controversial in our world and try to see through multiple different lenses, right? Because there's not just one lens. And so just bringing awareness to different topics that are happening in our world and how we can hopefully open our mind to seeing it in different ways. Yeah, so it's espresso yourself, coffee talk or coffee chat with us. Um, starting on the first of the month, what time? We haven't even decided. Wait, stay tuned. We'll tell you soon. Stay tuned for the Two time. Wednesdays, come to Lisa's Instagram. We'll be talking about something we don't know yet, and we hope you've enjoyed this, and we will see you all very soon. Lots and of it's love. limitless with the letter U, not Y-O-U. Letter U. I'm going to tag her so you can go to the, this video and go follow her. Have the best day ever. Love you. Yeah.